How the Pros Compress a Vocal, next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. Now, there are two ways to compress a vocal. One, when you're recording the vocal, and two, when you're mixing the vocal. Warning, this will not be a detailed lesson in compression and all the variables of different compressors and attack and release times that will leave you confused. I'm going to go over this very simply and just give you simple settings that will work every time. Let's go. So, one word about compressing your vocal when you're recording it. No, no, no. No! No! What? No. No! Don't. Don't do it. There's really no need to do it. If you compress on the way in, you're stuck to that sound. If there's too much compression, you can't uncompress it. If you have a singer that sings loud and then soft and then loud and then soft, punch in line by line if you have to, verse and then chorus if you have to, and adjust your gain level on your mic pre. Trust me, best way to do it. You're never stuck with compression that you don't want, the sound of it, the level of it. Just don't compress on the way in. Don't. So, in saying that, I didn't compress on the way in recording the vocal on this song. I recorded her verse vocal here and her chorus vocal here separately. She sang louder in the chorus, as she should have. It's up in register from the verse, and it needed more power. So, when it came to this part, the chorus, I just took the mic pre-level when she was singing louder and turned it down. That way, I knew I wasn't hitting anything too hard, wasn't hitting my converters too hard, and there would be no distortion that I'd have to deal with later. Now, let's look at compression when you're mixing. Here's my verse vocal. town bars and your arms round me but light and moonlight kisses a lakeside and firefly wishes red wine and midnight slide breeze. okay as you can see i'm really really reducing this because i want to hear every breath i want the mic to sound like it's down in her throat so we can really get an intimate sound on her vocal. Now I have the attack sent to 3.5 so it's letting pss, pss, the beginnings, pss, this, the consonants of her words through. If I clamp down on this, it would clamp down on those. First dates in front seat of their Jeep. You can already hear it in the first line. So, I let those through. I put that about 3.5. The release I have on a super fast release. First dates in front seat of their Jeep. Small town bars in your arm. The release I have on the fastest release, so it recovers from that compression super fast, so it's not clamping down. It'll make the words sound more spitty more pumping now if i bring this back the vocal will sound smoother first dates in front seat of their jeep small town bars in your arms round me i didn't bring it back very much and it already kind of smooths the vocal out listen again first dates in front seat of their jeep but I don't think it's recovering quick enough to get all the words in, so I'm gonna keep it up here to the fastest. I have it set on four to one ratio, and the input is how hard I'm hitting this. So watch, if I bring this down, it's not quite as much. But I don't feel like I'm down her throat anymore, so I really want to bring it back up to First dates in front seat of their Jeep. Small town bars in your arms round me. So I'm hearing every word. None of the words are getting cut off. It's not too smooth and it doesn't sound too spitty. 
So I'm letting some of these transients in and it isn't grabbing those transients. So copy those settings right there. This is an 1176 type compressor. This one's made by Waves. It's Chris Lord Algae's version. You can hit this and it turns into his blue version. You can hit that and it turns into a black version. They're both great. 1176 compressors are super, super, super popular on lead vocals. All kinds of companies make versions of this. Slate, Universal Audio, IK Multimedia, there's tons of them. There's probably even free ones out there. So look for an 1176 compressor or 1176 knockoff, whatever. And this is a great setting. First days in front seat of their Jeep. I mean, I'm going about negative 10 to negative 15 dB of compression. And that's what's getting that in your face. So copy that. Now, behind that, I have another compressor. And this one's called the Arvox. It's also by Waves. Uh, I don't get any money from Waves. I don't even know anyone at Waves. I like their stuff. But this one is basically taking what I've done and smoothing it out a touch and bringing it even more forward. I don't even really know what this compressor does. I just know what it does by the sound of it. So here's what it's doing without it. First days in front seat of their Jeep. With it. First days in front seat of their Jeep. Small town bars in your arms round. It's taking everything you've done before and just kind of bringing it forward and putting it in a bit more of a box. This approach and these two types of compressors in, they call it serial, one after the other, or series, works every time. Use this compressor first in line on, on your channel like this and then use this one after it and you're going to be totally fine hey you guys we've got cheap and free crap for you <laughs> sumner put the right script up there come on man i'm trying to get hey guys please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new surgeries also take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff and one last thing, the doctor's lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. There you have it. Try this on your next track and use it every time with confidence. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.